Hey everybody, it's XJD. Welcome back to some more Earthbound. On the last episode, we left Scarab after visiting Rick Rowe's new dungeon inside Dungeon Man. Uh, after he gave us the yellow submarine, we took a short little ride to Deep Darkness. That's right, we are here. And I gotta say, this stage is pretty hard. Alright, uh, not only do we have a really cool song right now, but we also have this little, uh, bird looking thing. So let's see who he's all about. Ring, ring. Oh, I guess we could get a call. So how about we call her dad? Save, see how much we got left to level up. Let's call our mom too, so we don't have uh, any uh, homesickness while we're in the swamp. I can hardly hear you. Sounds like you're calling from the moon or something. Haha, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, have no idea. Okay, let's see. Should I talk to everybody else? Do I? Excuse me. Um, okay, don't need a cookie, so I'm just gonna drop that. Let's see if I need to call Escargo Express, or can they even get here? I don't know if they can get here. Yeah, I want to get rid of that PSI Caramel, because I don't want to have that on me right now. I can get rid of the Hieroglyph Copy, maybe the Defense Ribbon, I might sell that. Key to the Tower, yeah, let's see if I can call the Escargo Express. You know, let's see if they can pick something up for us, and then let's see if we can fast forward real quick. Alright, you came, wow. Yes, you can. Alright, we need you to take the PSI camera, because I'm saying that for later. We also need you to take the hieroglyph copy. You don't need that anymore. And key to the tower. That's right. Oh my god, you went into the water. I wonder if he takes damage. Yeah, the thing about this place is that if you go in deep in the water and their heads sink in the water, they lose damage. So you might want to uh, make sure you have a keen look at their health and watch over. In fact, let's see if everybody's at full health. Okay. 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 Alright, guys. Looks like we're about to start. Alright. Here we go. We got a little monkey friend. The monkeys run the end in the forest. You can stay here for free. Do you want to spend the night? Uh, why the hell not? You sure have fond memories of the monkeys end after your trip? <sighs> Didn't you think it was comfortable? Take care and goodbye. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright. See, we're starting to sink now. We're starting to move a little slow. And now our heads are in the junk. See that red dot? It shows that we're taking damage right now, slowly but surely. As long as their heads are under the water, they will take damage. So let's see if we can uh, get out of that. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's see. We got a solid snake over here. Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? I got what you need. Combat Yo-Yo, Super Bowl, Multi-Bottle Rockets, and D uh, Rust Pulling Order DX. So uh, let's see. We got some money on us. Uh, uh, do we need the Multi-Bottle Rocket, though? Yeah, we got two of them. Uh, I think we're pretty good. We don't need any more of those. Don't want to keep uh, using them and whatnot. All right, so um, let's see. Uh, all right. Uh, we got a little rough housing wall. Uh, why are they here right now? I don't understand why. Why are they here right now? I don't see any logical explanation. All right, let's see. let's talk to the townspeople. I heard monkeys living in some desert can teleport. Oh, you learn how to teleport for the monkeys? I want to try. Can you tell me how to do it? Sure. Okay, I'll try it. I'm never gonna up. I want to try again. Did you see me? That was awesome! Here's a small gift to Kinky. That's got the monkey's love. Alright, the monkey's love. I think that's some kind of attack item. I don't really know what the hell it does, but maybe we'll get to use it sometime. It gets from a monkey. It can be used during battle. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what does it do though? Does it heal me? Does it fight monsters for me? Oh, okay, let's see. Uh, we got some more monkeys. It's really dark here in deep darkness, isn't it? It's pretty creepy, don't you think? If you don't have the Hawkeye here, you're helpless. 
Oh, you got the help. The, you got the help. Uh, you got the Hawkeye. This is deep darkness. When you walk into the swamp, you endanger your health. You can't help it. That's why it's called deep darkness. I wonder how these monkeys are talking, anyways. Maybe next can talk to animals. I want to become a pig. If I become a pig, I can find the mushrooms called magic truffles. They're located in the swamp. You can be found by scent. You know, a pig's nose would be enough to find those great truffles by scent alone. Oh, well, maybe our piggy nose that we uh, obtained a little while ago will uh, help us out with that. I don't feel it's necessary for us to talk. Hey, sir. Now, uh, what's up? Hi, how are you? I'm not, I'm not a bad guy. I came from one of the world's largest economic powers. To a small rural village, a, a businessman that is truly tough has to travel this far for the best opportunities. And I'm a tough businessman, yes siree. I have, I'm also a representative of the doctor over there. A, do you want to buy? B, do you want to heal? Uh, buy? Needless to say, this is a rural village. <laughs> we have poor items. Hello there, how may I help you? Can I get you anything? Diamond band, charm coin, that might help. It's a little expensive. A couple of things. Uh, I don't think we'll need the charm coins, so then we're gonna get something much better later on. Uh, no? I guess not. Thank you! Well, I guess that's just about it. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's, uh. Get physics, and if I'm not mistaken, looks like this will be the first uh, instinct where we use our um, piggy nose. Paul put the piggy nose on her nose. Paul searched for a small like mind trouble. It's running right somewhere, but you can't point out the exact location. Huh, let's see. I'm gonna try to get all these because the magic truffles are actually really good. I mean, really good. So, what we're gonna want to do is try to, um, find them as well as possible. So, let's do that. Let's look around. Gotta try to get all of them at least. Take as little damage as possible. Um,. I have no clue. Let's see if I can get out the water. And all right, here we just got a magic truffle right here in this tree right behind this tree right here. You gotta use a piggy nose to find it. it. Took me a while to look for it. Didn't want to take forever because I'm actually losing health right now. So let's try to get out of this water. I gotta tell you guys, this stage is really hard. The monsters here are actually really powerful. So if you are a level, <laughs> have fun. Alright, so let's see. There should be another one around here somewhere. Alright, I'm probably gonna end up calling the runaway. Um, I'm gonna try looking for. Hey, does it match up on your feet? Yeah, let's check out their effects because they are actually really great items. Oh! Magic Shuffle, a dream like delicacy that is said to grow at the base of trees and what, what many places. It restores about 80 PP, that's really great, and a lot of items don't even restore nearly to that much. Alright, so with those Magic Shuffles there, I'm going to pause the video right here, call Escort God Express, and then our guys are back, and I think we're just about good. We got two of the Magic Shuffles, there's a few more here. I'm gonna try my best to look for them. And uh, I just gave them to the, um, to the whatchamacallit guy. So now we are ready to get started into Deep Darkness Part 1, alright. Uh, I'm gonna try to beat Deep Darkness in one recording section, so uh, these episodes will be the only episodes uploaded for a bit because um, I'm going to upload three Earthbound episodes instead of two, and then two uh, Pokemon Sapphire episodes. So these three will hopefully be the only ones needed. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Hi, how are you? I'm not a bad guy. Uh, B, if you must talk to the doctor, please, please talk to me first. Do you have business with the doctor? Whatever. It's a special. Wait. Uh, oh wow, that's a lot of money. Um, no. Okay, what the. Alright, whatever. Um. I don't have to talk to him because he's a doctor. I guess doctors heal. So we could talk to the monkey over here at the end for free. Just take a little more damage, but hey, I'm sorry guys, we're taking a long amount of time that I intended to do. But um just have it be known that we will get out of here. 
within, wow, I just saw my uh, breath. Um, yeah, that's how you know it's cold. January, guys, new year. Not much of a new me. I mean, like, I don't have any new year resolutions to go by. I think I'm pretty, pretty, pretty fine. All right, now let's get going. All right. Yeah, but new year. Happy new year, guys. My name is SGD. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but, uh, yeah, we're about to get started, and let's, uh, do this thing. It's going to deep darkness. Now, let me tell you guys a story now. My first run of the stage, I, oh, one, I almost got my ass kicked. Two, I got lost. You wanna know how? See, everything's dark. So, what you're only gonna do here is use the Hawkeye, because what I did was not use the Hawkeye, and I just straight up just, like, try to wing it. And I'm like, where do I go? That's what's up. Hey, man, you got a present. A banana. That's what's up, okay. Now, let's continue. What was this? Be quiet, I look very important, but not really. I'm a cash dispenser man. If you want to withdraw cash, I'll charge you a handling fee. It's the same amount as a withdrawal. So do you want to withdraw? No! I'll be here, so come back anytime. That is a bad idea, guys. You're gonna withdraw money from him. You're gonna have a bad time. All right, let us continue on. <laughs> But yeah, the monsters here are actually really powerful, so you're gonna wanna be careful around this place, okay? Alright, let's see. Yeah. Woo! See what I mean? Is that Master Barf? Big pile of puke indeed. Alright, guys, we're gonna have to take you out before you nauseate us with your nastiness. You're nasty, so let's take you out quick. Demonic Petunia, how will we avoid her? Actually, I think I'd go that way. Dang it! Um, well, we could try to sidestep her. It's worth a try. Oh, no, those are monsters over there, too. See, guys, these monsters are so badass and powerful that I'm avoiding them. You know, actually avoiding monsters for once. In what world? Hey, you got it from behind. Demonic Petunia, here's your chance for opening attack. Uh, I think you're against fire, so let's try that real quick. Just want you spy her to confirm that. Yep, oh, alright. Alright, let's continue. Let's defeat this girl. Or plants. I think it's a girl. Petunia sounds like a girl name. Demonic Petunia. Demonic Rephocelia. You guys probably had no clue what I just said, but it's whatever. It's a plan. All right, let's move out. Okay. All right. See this monster right here? That's Zap Eel, and I want to avoid him at all costs. He's actually a very powerful monster. He can do the equivalent of Pierce Eye Thunder. So yeah. Let's try to avoid all Zap Eels. Okay, guys. That's gonna be our mission today. All right, that's only present. Beef jerky. All right, beef jerky, man food. Let's take out this uh, crocodile real quick. I'm pretty sure. No, it's a zapio. <laughs> All right, let's kill a zapio. All right, hopefully he'll only be attacking Nessa's PSI. Pretty sure Ness still has a Franklin badge on. I don't think I would sell that for whatever reason necessary. But Jeff, you should focus your attention on this hard crocodile because crocodiles are kind of powerful. Oh, there it is. Thank God. Oh no! Ah! Oh. See? 
See, I almost damaged it. Dude. Oh, he died quick. Whatever. Oh, what the heck? All right, let's uh heal Jeff. Gotta press the A button. All right, Nessie. All right, Ness. That was a pretty good one, but we're gonna have to think of something real quick. These monsters are powerful. Paul, eat a picnic. Uh, Jeff, you should freaking shoot that thing real quick before it kills us much more. Oh my goodness! Oh man, Paula's gone, isn't she? No! Oh, she lost it. These monsters are so overpowered. I mean, yes, okay, so RPG, so they're gonna get strong at one point. But, oh, come on, man. Like, Shigesato, what are you doing, man? That's not fair. That's not fair. I hope I have a couple light nodes on me because I know Beast Jerky doesn't revive anybody for any reason necessary. Ah, oh, we got a couple light nodes. Paula. Ah, oh, okay. Give, give, uh, give to, uh, Jeff. Jeff took the noodles of Paula's spill. Alright, use this on Paula, please. Now, let's see. Are you fully healed, Paula? Because, you know, I don't care. Alright. We're all pretty good right now. Let's see now. Uh, had a little altercation real quick. Let's see, what else should we do? Okay. Now a little farther this way, we got a magic truffle coming up, so why don't we check it out, guys? Let's see, um, Paula, put on your piggy nose. Uh, up and left. Uh, come on now. Yeah, where is that thing now? That big ugly gal? Where is this? Uh, let's try it again real quick. Good thing the piggy nose doesn't disappear after one try. A little further up and right. Here we go. Hey, there's a magic shelf on your feet. That's good. I want to get all of them before we leave this place, because I'm probably never going to come back here for whatever reason necessary. <sighs> oh, look, it's a, it's a little... Oh, 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 Jeff, get out of the water. You gotta look clean, man. It's a picture taken instantaneously. I'm a photographer genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say... But the rules! Wow, what a great photograph! It will always be one of the fondest of memories. Huh. Well, let's look at this little birdie real quick. Kawik! Village tend to comes nobody. Far is because Queek! Oh, so village of tend is far, eh? Well, maybe we'll. Oh, IQ capsule, Paula. Uh, Jeff, you can use that. I remember saying, Paula, how do you like IQ capsule? No, Jeff, you can build stuff. I said he hasn't really built much, has he? He hasn't really built many items of recent. It doesn't affect me. I mean, like, the items he does build are awesome. But, you know, I'm not really a, a hungry guy for those, you know what I'm saying? If you feel my. If you catch my drift or anything. Yeah, I don't really uh, feel the. I, I feel the need. Like, he feels. A, he builds some really good items sometimes. But other than that, I'm like, hey, it's whatever. See, he can do whatever he wants. Just his own person, so he, he can do whatever. You know, I mean, like, maybe the hardcore less players of Earthbound would be like, dude, you gotta make Jeff. Whoa. What the hell? It's completely broken. I thought I could fix it, but it's, uh, it's on re-examination. I know that there's no engine. Hmm. Wow. This helicopter looks familiar. This, this helicopter. You guys, you think this helicopter could have belonged to somebody you know? For a past episode? Nah, <laughs> I'm just bugging ya. Oh, well, this episode's about to end for a bit. I think it got pretty far. We can't open a map of this place, but I think we're doing good. Alright, we're gonna go fight this demonic platoonie up here, and- Oh no! No! Not you! Not you! Guys, that's, uh, Territorial Hostile Oak. Ah, uh, the second monster I want to avoid here. Oh great, the platoonie disappeared, but he didn't. Alright guys, yeah, you know, we might spend the rest of- Oh, thank god. Thank god. Yeah, they're just as bad as Territorial Oaks, except they blow up bigger flames, you know, guys? Big flames. Not your average day, every normal flames, but big flames. 
All right, but yeah, this episode's about to end right here, so I'm gonna move on a little bit more ahead, and hopefully we won't run into any other monsters. All right, guys, uh, see you guys later. XGD, like, comment, subscribe for more. All right, yeah. <laughs>